We had some really good situations right from the, the first whistle. The Crabs has had a, an excellent opportunity right at the start of the game. And that was um, that was a good moment for us. We had several others. Um, we reacted really well to the early the early goal we conceded. And I thought for the first 20 minutes we were excellent and the team in the ascendancy. But then the rest of the first half I thought we lost our way a little bit. Um, and Blackpool had a lot of possession really without creating too much. And the second half was difficult. We They went down to 10 men and we, we thought we'd have enough time to get back into the game and equalise, but it didn't quite come for us. It was as though um, them having a man sort of, sort of um, did, didn't help you, because, because then they did sit back in, in numbers, didn't they? Made yeah, they, it very hard to they, break down. they did. They defended very well. You can see why they've only conceded, I think, two goals prior to coming into today's game. I thought their defensive performance was excellent. But you have to look at yourselves, and I thought our attacking performance was a little bit below par. Um, OK, we're missing a lot of um, very good players at the moment, attacking players, but there's no excuse for that. We needed to do better. And the new boy, any chance for Tuesday? Yeah, hopefully. Um, I believe he's on a plane tonight, so uh, hopefully have him here for Tuesday. Were you hoping that he might have been here today? Was there any possibility? Well, we were hoping, but then with the uh, the flight time, it's an extremely long flight, um, and then prior to prior to the game, I think he got to England here at about 12 o'clock. It was a very, very difficult one because as much as you want him, you've got to be fair to the lad and give him every chance to perform. Um, so uh, we made a decision to look at him for Tuesday. Did you think the sending off was, was, it was the right decision or not? Uh, I thought it was the second one was a book and I don't actually remember his first yellow card, so um, I'd have to have a look at that again. Sure. Where was Harry Arter today? Harry picked up a, well, he's, he's been carrying an injury since, um, I think it was the Watford game, I think he, he felt a dead leg, or well, he got a dead leg, and uh, he's been playing through that, but then uh, realised this week that it, it was impacting him to such an extent he had to stop, so we're reviewing the injury at the moment, we're not quite sure how long he'd be out for.